Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. In today's video, we are going to be taking my Athalia to Mythic Plus. We're four copies away from getting her to ascend it. As you can see, I've only got the one there, but we do have in the Challenger store enough points to buy our final copy. So that's what we're going to be doing, getting her to Mythic Plus. I may even, I don't have the dust to get another hero to 220, as you can see here. But what I may do is I may even just reset my K source, put him down to 220, and then get her up to 220, just so we can get some better damage testing out of her and see what she can do. So let's get into the video. So first up, we're going to go over here to the bag and collect that Athalia that I just bought because I always forget to do this. So we've got that. Perfect. Now we can go to the Temple of Ascension and over here we can ascend that. Boom. And then we can go to Mythic Plus. I, I cannot wait to get her to ascend it. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, yes. Perfect. Nice. Okay. So now, as you can see, we are two Elite Plus copies away. So four copies away, which, you know, hopefully we're saving up summons. Hopefully we can get some there. I don't know how many we got. Okay, we don't have that many summons, but when we do eventually do a summon session, we're going to go for her and hopefully we get some luck and we can actually pull some copies of her. But let's take a quick look at her. I think I've got my best leather set on her at the moment. Yes, I do. I've got my best agility set. Um, I don't know why she's got that on. That's when I was trying to outspeed a, um, we're going to change it to that. I was trying to outspeed a Forks to get it, but for some reason she just can't quite get a Forks to stop doing his banish thing. I don't know. I don't know. It's just like a timing thing. No matter how much haste I put on her, it doesn't work. But basically, I'm just hoping we can get some decent damage out of her. Just her skills, we've gone through them before. I'm not going to go through them too much, but the ultimate, just a good AoE or single target damage dealing. She comes down from the skies, kicks people up, does massive CC, and then she also gains that sustain. So that's, the, that's her skills in a nutshell. I feel like I've gone through them like three times over the videos, so we're not going to go too in-depth. But what I'm thinking is we'll, we'll, try, we'll, we'll, we'll try a couple battles. We'll see if we can progress a little bit in campaign. And then I'm thinking we may swap out, um, swap, sorry, we may reset K source down to 220 and put her up to 220 and see what we can do. So, like I said, we, I'm going to put her over here. And for some reason, I can never manage the, uh, yeah, the Forks always gets his banish off no matter what Athalia is doing. So that's why I put the Nara in this one. I just wanted to demonstrate that. Um, we're going to just retry. So the Nara seems to be able to stop the, the Forks from doing his Banish. So that's what I'm relying... No, she doesn't. She still misses it. Okay. Forks is an absolute beast. I cannot deal with him. <laughs> he is annoying. So that's where I'm at at the moment. But I'm thinking the Shamira should still be able to hold this out and get it done along with the K-Source. But no, we don't. We, we don't get it done. That's all right. So what we're going to do is we're going to swap her out. Um, we're going to leave her up there because, you know, it's all about her today. And who can we put in? Because we still want to get a faction bonus. So we want one of those three factions. I'm thinking maybe, do we put the rain in there? Do we put the rain in there and see if she can do something? Actually, we, we probably just put the Pharrell in because Pharrell is good. Actually, I should have put Rowan in the middle. That was a big rip. But Athalia up the top there, she's getting a few dodges. She survives long enough. She, she she gets that CC and she survived for a bit, but we're not getting what we need out of it. So I'm, I'm really considering putting her up to 220 now, but I kind of want to get through this boss stage. I've been stuck here for ages, by the way. I've been stuck here for ages. Uh, before I go here, before I go too far, let's see if... Yeah, he's got really horrible gear. Let's remove this gear. Let's see what she has. Maybe we could even try her. We're going we're gonna to equip this to him. But then we may just try... I, Rowan's potions is too good for me to pass up on. Is my problem at the moment. So let's try this. See what, if this works. If not, we'll go back over. And try it the other way. Maybe I still leave Athalia on the uh, on the forks. I'm not too sure what I want to do there. K-Source, but it's not going to be enough. Not going to be anywhere near enough. Okay. I, I, I really, okay, what we're going to do is I'll come back. I'm going to put her up to 220 and just see if we can get the damage out of her. It's probably going to cost us more than it's going to save us. But hey, actually, no, I can't do it. I can't do it because then Shamira will get banished and then we'll be absolutely screwed. So firstly, we're going to test the rain. 
Now, people laugh at the rain, but she can sometimes work really well. So, that Athali getting banished there, I might swap my front row around because the, the Shamira is just getting trained. So, let's try this. Uh, that way, yes, okay, this may work because that way the Athalia will survive a little bit longer after the banish. So, I'm hoping this will work because Rowan's going to get absolutely trained and Shamira still dies. Okay, rip the dream. Rip the absolute dream. Okay, we'll, we'll come back. We will come back. Okay, so massive fail from me. Mythic Plus max level is 200. I thought it went up to 220, but Mythic Mythic Plus is still the 200, so big rip. <laughs> no, maybe it's the Mythic, it was just because of my crystal. Okay, it was because of my crystal. I got, I got confused, but give me a break. We still managed to clear that stage. We still got it. What I ended up having to do was just put the Brutus in there to get some some life-saving capabilities. Um, as you can see, the Athalia does a couple dodges in the cocoon, but didn't really manage to do too much except distract them for a little bit. But hopefully we can get some teams that she can really shine. Um, in here, I was just lucky that the Forks went and banished Shamira the second time. I don't know why her power must have increased with something. So, you know, that's what he decided to do, which left the others up the top and allowed Shamira's ultimate to kill everyone and a happy day. So we just, we, we needed the Brutus in that stage. It's pretty much what it comes down to. Just... Just needed that eight seconds of survival to help Shamira get to her ult. So, this team here is going to be annoying. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to go with you there, I think. You there, because he's more tanky. Um, the Vedan's going to do more damage. Then what I'm going to do is do... I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Nara in there to stop that. And yes, we're only going to be healing the Shamira basically, but that's the only one I really should hopefully need to heal. Uh, we really want to stop this Estrelda because the Estrelda run through is just painful. This way we're going to be stopping the Estrelda. We're going to be stopping the Sylvina for a little bit because, I mean, my, my Nara is still only elite, so she's going to die pretty quick. Um, and then hopefully K-Source can tank a little bit of that Vedan. That's, I'm thinking it should work. Okay, we missed the knock-up on the Estrada, but we did do some pretty decent damage against her. Uh, Rowan survived a fairly long time, but this may be where we melt, and this may just take a couple tests to try and get there, but I think we've got it. I think we've got it. The K-Source is throwing his axes. We're pretty good. I mean, that, 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 that Athalia damage at the start there was not too bad coming straight off the bat. I was pretty happy with that. We got the Vedan down, happy days. It's always going to be these two. I cannot wait to get my Athalia to ascend it. It's going to, it's going to be like epic days once she's level 240. Um, but I do really like this comp. I love Athalia mixed with um, Nara to lock out two enemies. I really do like it. This looks like the best lineup for me here. Uh, we can stop the Thane and we can also uh, stop the Pharrell. So that's pretty good. And Rowan is still here and healing everyone. And we should be able to survive that Shamira until we get to it. There we go. We're doing the knockups. Okay, we probably should have taken it off auto for that reason, that uh, K-Source runs away too fast. And we're going to die here. Can Shamira dodge enough to survive? Nah. Okay, rib. Let's try that again. We may have to try, We may have to swap the Athalia and the Nara around to get that done, but we'll see. We'll try it again. Uh, I'm thinking maybe we do this. Let's, let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. Okay, Nara did not knock his feet out, which really sucks. That pretty much fails the team instantly. Uh, unless Shamira does some magical things and dodges. Nah, too many bats, too many bats. Uh, do they have CC on their team? They do with that fear. And that is going to be us dead. Oh, the axes, the axes. That Thane though, that Thane. Okay, okay, let's try that again. So we're going to go back here. We're going to go back to this one. We're going to swap this around because RNG is a thing. RNG is a big thing. Look at that Athalia damage on that Thane. Got him down to half health straight away. Pretty happy with that. She's dodging some attacks and now she's down and it's all down to the Shamira carry with, with the K-Source. Shamira's pretty high at the moment. So this could actually work out. If Shamira gets the full heal from the ultimate, no, the, okay. The Pharrell ultimate coming in there. I cannot wait to build my Pharrell. Oh, we just missed him on the bats. And now Thane's doing his thing. Okay, we got the kill. Can we kill the Thane? Because Thane is so annoying. So frustrating. Throw some axes. Ultimate. Okay, I think we may have the Thane because he's going to do his extra bunch of attacks because he crit so many times. Yep, there it is. Now we need to ult and then throw axes. Oh my god, this Thane is so frustrating. 
Thane, get... That is... That is just... I need to build a Thane, because that is just... I, I love that frustrating stuff, doing it to enemies, but I hate it being done to me. Um, but hey, still... Okay, this this worked out pretty well, because Athalia is surviving really well at the top there, distracting the enemies, which is good, which is good for us. Um... It comes down now to whether the K-Source can do it, which he can't. There's no way. Thro throw axes, throw axes. Okay, this is, <laughs> that signature weapon being buffed is really nice. We're so close to killing that Thane as well, but he keeps healing up. Alt again. Get away from it. Throw the axes. Throw them again. Oh, okay. I feel like we're going to get this one. We may have to come back on this one as well. Um, but hey, I'm actually quite impressed with that Athalia damage straight off the bat. Oh my god, look at those axes. We killed the Shamira already. And we almost killed the Vedan. And that Thane's dropping fast. That's not too bad. Actually, that was really good jumping away with, to those skeletons. Shamira's still alive. Okay, this was just a good RNG run. That was a great RNG run. Thank you very much. I feel like my progression on these ones is going to be fairly slow from here on in. Um, Sylvina on the front row. That's really frustrating. Uh, what I'm going to do is this. And this. Because Shamira should get up there pretty quick. Um, I, I feel like this will work. Uh, K-Source is going to get banished. But hopefully we can slow the banish. No, we couldn't We couldn't interrupt the banish. Which sucks. And that's probably going to cost us. Uh, but can Shamira ult right now and survive? This Sylvina's about to ult. But she did it on the K-Source. Which is good. Which means we win. We win. Nice. Okay, take it. I'll take it. Easy done. Okay. Once again, Athalia just... Mythic Plus, nice. I need that Ascended. I need that Ascended. But hey, she's fun to play with. So let's do this. Let's do that. Uh, and that should be good. Hopefully the potions can keep Shimmer alive. There's going to be a fair bit of damage coming into her. Uh, hopefully it's enough. Okay, K-Source is going to alleviate a bit of that damage. And that should be good. We should be good now. I feel like Shimmer should have it. Okay, nice. I'd be curious to check damage charts for these two when they both last the game. I mean, obviously it's going to be Shamira, I think, because um, her ult's been running for so long, but man, those axes are doing some damage too. Them axes. Damage. <laughs> like, let's check. I'm curious now. K-Source with the damage. Okay, nice. He does have the extra gear, so not going to complain with that. Next stage. That was a boss stage. Nice. If we clear one more boss stage, I'd be more than happy. So, let's have a look here. Let's have a look and see. what I'm, I'm, I'm actually really tempted to do this. Because Estrella is a real threat. Um, and I, I actually do like putting rain in. I've been testing her a little bit. I do enjoy the rain because if she does ult, it pretty much guarantees I win. If anyone else is still alive. So, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. Uh, I basically just hate Estrilda's uh, run through. It's really frustrating. It like stuns people and everything. Um, but as you can see, we did do a fair bit of damage to the Estrilda already. And that Athalia is dod dodging a lot. If I could upgrade all her gear to... Maybe we do upgrade some of her gear. May I think I've got like the chest that's faction bonus for her. But I don't know. I think, we'd, I think we'll save. I think we'll save. But hey, it's not too bad. I should have checked damage. Rip. So what we're going to do here, this is prime Athalia position. you got to stop this um, Savvy's, and this is perfect. This is pretty much exactly what we need her for. Uh, yes, Savius take some damage. Okay, he got the heal from the Lucius, which sucks. As you can see, look at that Savvy's damage. Just absolutely trucking my Shamira. If Shamira ults now, we win. We, we just win. Yep. Ooh, Athalia got the ult as well. Nice. But we... Okay, maybe we don't just win. <laughs> maybe the Lucius shield is too much for us. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap this around. I just think that Savius did way too much damage to my Shimera before she could ult. So, I needed... I, I, <laughs> the Savius one shot. <laughs> my Athalia. I needed to take that off auto. But hey, Kaysor's still throwing some axes, doing some good stuff. Can we kill? Can we kill? Get that Savius at the top there. Get that Savius. Come on. Rip, I really need to take this K-Source off auto because he's destroying my chances of winning. <laughs> oh, no. Actually, we're doing all right here. If he jumps away now and gets that... Okay, good. 
Okay, leaving it on auto eventually works out. <laughs> that Lucius shield was absorbing a lot of damage. Like a lot of damage. Like, like a lot. Like heaps. Okay. So this one here. I love these dwarf dudes. Like I really want the other one that charges. Like he's got to come into the game because he's like an uninterruptible charge at the start of the battle with Gwyneth. That would be mid. But hey, let's leave it at this. I think this team will be fine. I think there's nothing special in this team, so I think we should be fine. Um, old, old mate shotgun dude is really annoying, so getting some damage on him is never going to hurt. Okay, there we go. Thalia's dropped. We kill shotgun dude, do we? Yes. Okay, we get that. Oh, wow. That phoenix, though. That phoenix damage is insane. I would really like to see... I would love to see these heroes like Muriel and stuff like that be able to go to a, like level 240 just to test them out because it just... You fight them at 240, but you can't get them there yourself. And it's really, really demoralizing. I want to do it. We're going to do that. We need some fears. I feel like some fears would help. This, this Pharrell really needs to get to Mythic. Like, really needs to get to Mythic. Yeah, that extra CC really helps. Probably should have been doing that from the start. Athalia with the... Oh, she survives. Nice. Be, being a, a leather wearer, like, it's always handy to get those clutch dodges sometimes too. So, this boss, honestly, this is like, I don't think we'd get through another boss in this, in this session. Let's see how we go. Um, I kind of want, I kind of want to do that again. I kind of want to do that, and I kind of want to do that, and I kind of want to do that. So, my theory here is my two main carry heroes, like, Athalia gets too far away, so she's not going to get the potions. Pharrell's going to die pretty quick anyway, so it doesn't really matter. This way, Rowan is healing my two main damage dealers. Um, I, I should get some good damage out of the K source hitting the two tanks and the Belinda. And I think we'll be right. We, and then we can just annoy that Estrilda. Let's see what happens, please. Okay, K source got banished really early. Uh, Shimura's almost dead. <laughs> yeah, this, this, this one isn't working exactly how I planned it. So. Let's have another think about this. Let's see if we can actually stop that. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Let's play it. Let's play it more the way it's supposed to be played. This is my Wilders account. And I'm still not using any Wilders. Like, what am I doing? That is Strilda ult though. Okay. Who's the, who's the boss? Who's the boss? Tassie. Is that Tassie doing enormous amounts of damage? Because it really devastates me when Tassies do enormous amounts of damage. So. Do we do the double lockout CC? Because Pharrell's done, like, I, I'm actually going to, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this, see if it works. Don't judge me if it doesn't. Okay, we're hitting that Tassie fairly low. Thalia's dead already, which sucks. Yes, okay. Rowan's, like, sketching out there. Um, but k got banished as the Strilda was ulting, but it still wasn't enough to save us. Uh, I'll, Okay. Let's, let's, let's reassess this. Let's reassess. Let's get some, you know what I might do? I might do this. Focus all my damage down there and also try and CC up there. Let's see. Okay. We've, we've got eight seconds with this, uh, with this Brutus. Thalia's dead. Shamira's dead. Everyone's dead. Okay. Okay. You know what? We're, we're going to have a couple tries off camera and come back and we'll see how we go. Don't be surprised if we don't get it done. Okay, so that took a fair few tries, and what I ended up deciding was, it is my Wilders account, why not go back to using some Wilders? So I just put the like in there for that haste buff. The Tassie, because when you take a few tries, eventually Tassie will teleport the right way and not die, and basically that's what happened in this one. Um, we got a clutch one where the Tassie, once again, banished my K-Source uh, just before the Estrada ult. I think that was this one, or maybe it was the other one. Maybe that was the run before. But anyway, that was the run before. But the, this one, Tassie basically survived. We got the ult. And once Tassie ults with your two main carry units are surviving, you just win. So really happy that we got through that one as well. That's pretty much... I, I don't reckon we're going to get through another boss stage anytime soon. We may we may slowly get through them. Uh, but like this is getting it to be tough progression. And yeah, I'm pretty happy, pretty happy with the Athalia, man. Like... I just need her at 240. 240 with a level 20 signature weapon would be nice. Once we get that signature weapon to level 30, it's going to be even better because I am saving all of these things 
uh, all of these. I've got 188 of them. I don't know how many I'm going to need in the end, but hey, we're just saving them all up for Athalia. Ooh, let's check what's in here. 300? Damn, I was hoping it was 3,000. But, um, but yeah. That's Athalia, we're waiting for it, so close to Ascended, but hey, she still works really well. Even even at Legendary or something like that, you're still going to get good use out of her, just for that CC against things like Savius, Arden, and other annoying things that you can block out. So, that's where we're at in campaign at the moment on this account. Uh, hopefully, I'm thinking we'll do a summon session soon on this account, it won't be a massive one. But we just, we, we want to get some progress on it, we want to get some progress, so we may do that Maybe, well, maybe we'll wait another week or two. Maybe we'll wait a week or two and then go for it and hopefully get some more ascending done on this account. And the final thing I wanted to mention, I was going to mention at the start of the video, but I completely forgot until now, is uh, to those who have been leaving comments on my last few videos, the last few videos that I did upload were actually like ones that I pre-recorded and I was planning to upload as like bonus videos each day. But once again, my son got sick, he got my wife sick, uh, so I was taking care of them and then I got sick, so... You know, the weekend just got lost, so they were the only videos I did upload, so that's the reason I didn't get back to many comments and stuff like that is because I just, I haven't had time. So, back into it, everyone's good now, hopefully this week will be, <laughs> will be a bit smoother and, uh, and we can get back to more comments because, like I said, apologies, I do love replying to all the comments, but I just haven't had the time to look at it enough over the weekend. So, that is going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.